Hi everyone, my name is Allison Groves. I'm an attorney and a partner with Hemrick O'Malley PLLC here in New York City. Last time we discussed I-90s zeros or I-90s, which is a replacement or renewal of your green card. Now, I want to talk very briefly about other reasons why you may want to file or need to file an I-90, aside from just your green card expiring. To recap very briefly, you file an I-90 when your 10-year green card is about to expire. This is, of course, not the only reason why you would file a Form I-90. Last time, we talked about how long it takes USCIS to process these I-90s. Now, it's important to remember that if you are filing an I-90 because of the expiration of your current green card status, you can do so within six months of the expiration of your green card. So what are some other reasons why you would want to file an I-90? Well, an I-90 can be filed for various reasons, such as if your green card was lost, mutilated, or stolen. If this happens, of course, you're going to have to do a replacement of your green card application. And oftentimes, it's good to work with an attorney if your green card has been lost, mutilated, or stolen, because there are certain steps that need to be taken in order to file your green card replacement I-90 application on this basis. Another reason why you would need to file an I-90 aside from that reason, and if your green card is expiring, is if USCIS made an error on the biographical data that's listed on your green card. If USCIS made this error, of course, there are certain measures that can be taken to waive the filing fee of the I-90. And of course, it is important to work with an attorney for this reason as well, because if the error was made by USCIS, then of course, you don't want to pay that hefty fee to USCIS. Another reason why you would do an I-90 is if you made an error on your green card application, and now there's incorrect biographical data on your green card that, of course, you cannot have because that biographical data does not match up to your passport data. Remember, if you are planning on traveling with your green card, then of course your biographical information must match the information on your passport and of course your birth certificate. And if it does not, you can run into issues with USCIS, Customs and Border, or any other area of the Department of Homeland Security. So if you receive your green card and it has incorrect biographical data, of course you need to file to replace this. You should not overlook it and you shouldn't hope for the best you need to have the correct information so that you can avoid running into any issues down the line. Now, of course, these are the most common reasons why people would file an I-90 application with USCIS. However, there are additional reasons that are a little bit less common, but of course necessary when these circumstances apply to your particular case that would require you to file a Form I-90. Some of those include if you are a certain age and you received a green card under the age of 14, and of course you turn 14, and you need to replace your green card based on certain fingerprints that need to be taken. Another reason is if you are taking up certain commuter status, where you plan on being outside of the United States for significant periods of time for employment or other reasons. You can, of course, obtain a special green card status on this basis alone. And for all of these reasons, you should be working with a qualified immigration attorney to help determine whether or not you should be filing a green card on this basis or for any of these other bases. One other reason that somebody may file a Form I-90 that isn't necessarily as common and as time passes is getting less common is if a person has a very old version of a green card, meaning your green card was issued quite a long time ago, I mean decades, because green card applications used to not actually have expiration dates. Now we are dating back to the 70s and 80s. However, if you have one of these green cards and it does not have an expiration date, technically you are supposed to apply to renew your green card on a Form I-90 so that you have a newer version of the card, of course, with up-to-date biographical information and, of course, the standard expiration date that now applies to all green cards. So there's many reasons why you would need to file a Form I-90 application. 
As I said previously in this discussion, it's extremely important to work with a qualified attorney because there are not only various reasons, but various nuances to how to apply and what supporting documents need to be provided with your application for a replacement of your green card. With that being said, we here at Hemrick O'Malley answer people's questions every day about I-90s, about the replacement of their green cards, or about any other immigration matters. You can feel free to find us online at hemrick.law, or you can call us at 833-848-7838. And until next time, I look forward to talking to everyone again soon.